Hello everybody. So I'm building the chatbot current keywords. So you probably can't see what I'm going to show you guys. This is the chat bot basics class chat background program name message body chat bot ask user email ask user password bot customer service email bot write line and bot read line so we're going to call this method and this method no, this is bot read line. We want to write, but write line, and we gotta pass a message. We gotta pass a background image. We gotta pass list of strings, and let's go into this later. I can make an interface, but we're just trying to get the MVP running. So, okay, so. I'm going to create a new parameter. I'm going to call this program mode. And this parameter is just going to tell the UI in what mode is the chatbot. And UI message you I got this I am message, I message, I message class. And we're going to create a new property. And this property is going to be called current mode. And that's it. Let me drink some water. So guys, we're building an amazing chatbot. It's going to be the future of apps. It's going to be the easiest low code solution ever. It's going to be the best user experience ever because this chatbot helps gather user data in a way no app, no website can ever do. And we're building it. I'm working full time. I'm doing this at night. I'm very tired, but hopefully we can do this so you guys can have a so everyone can have basically a app that can make them money an app that can help them have passive income because that is something that is the future of web 3.0 because in web 3.0 people need the internet to work for the community not just for a very small few so let's go okay so basically we have here the current mode. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into the, let's save this chatbot. Here it is, here's a chatbot. Let me just put this back in here. Okay, or not, let me just put this down here because my bubble is really annoying. <laughs> okay, so, Right now, we're going to write a line to the screen. And that line is going to have the following. It's going to have a message. Message is going to be welcome. Welcome program mode. Log in. Login mode. Background image. Uh, none. None. Uh, keywords. We got to have some keywords here. So let's create a new list of strings. And let's create some keywords here and let's call our first keyword is login. Yeah. Login. Second keyword is going to be register. 
register third keyword is going to be um login register and reset password reset password so this is how the chatbot works basically the every keyword is going to be a button on the ui it's going to be a grid of buttons that are going to appear on the ui the purpose of this is so the user can have buttons he can see and tap on them and it's going to have a different color on top of that it's going to have on the on the lower part it's going to have the keyboard so the person can just type whatever he needs so without further ado let's continue okay so basically that's the last parameter that I designed here for the, the future of apps. Uh, this doesn't have an interface yet, but eventually it will have. But right now, we don't really need a, an interface because we're not unit testing yet because we're trying to do an MVP. We're not doing an enterprise app. We're just trying to prove a concept, You know, get clients, show people that this thing is very powerful. And it's just one class, you know, and I'm testing it manually and uh, okay so when there when more people come and work we're definitely gonna add an interface we're definitely gonna do unit testing that's by law okay uh, current keywords so each time we run this method we're gonna put a breakpoint and it's gonna clear the keywords because each time a new message comes in we don't want the code to have old buttons uh, in an active state because that can trigger trigger bugs and we don't want that obviously that would be catastrophic for the user to tri hit a button in the wrong moment and then crash the program so the only buttons that are gonna be active are the ones that are here okay so these are the keywords and uh, we create a new message and then we print the keywords to the screen in this case we're just gonna we should just probably yeah uh, bot help message please say one of these words right now doing this would be probably the best way of doing this is